Oh, we're living in the present mm -hmm. But our mind is in the past, past Not knowing what we lose so uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to create a successful WordPress shop. So first things first, let's talk about the hosting. Now hosting is very important because think about it as your main home. So it's a good foundation and if you mess it up, you're going to be in big trouble because everything else you're going to build on top is just going to break apart any time. So the reason why I emphasize on hosting is because you need to choose hosting companies that are reliable, very good and good customer support service. Now the companies that I recommend are InMotion Hosting, SiteGround and WP Engine. Now these three companies are really good, I've used them and uh, on more serious projects I prefer to use WP Engine because of their automatic backups. Next thing now is design. So design is very important because think about your website as a storefront. So if it looks untidy, of course no one's going to buy from your shop because presentation matters. So you want to make sure that everything looks really, really nice. In fact, if you look at shops that you visit every day, if the main window does not look great, of course it's not going to look very attractive. So you've got to make sure that you have that in place. Now, if you use WordPress out of the box, it's a bit difficult with Gutenberg. It doesn't have a lot of features. So what I recommend you do is to use a page builder. Now there's uh, Divi, there's Elementor, there's Breezy and so on. The one I prefer is Divi. And in fact, I'll be showing you in a moment how to uh, build a page very quickly when we get back into the studio. Oh, I think I'm going to have a coffee now. I see a uh, Starbucks just across there. So. Um, now, I don't normally drink coffee, but uh, today's a one-off. Spinning all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make a difference when it's really fun. No? Is it just me or what? I've tasted different types of coffees, but I can't even taste the difference. Even if I were to drink a proper cup of coffee versus an instant coffee, the cheap one that you buy from the supermarket, I can't even taste the difference. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about now is uh, traffic. Now, let's say you have a shop and no one is coming to your shop, obviously, no one's going to buy. So you want to make sure that you have a traffic strategy whereby you can drive people to your website and in return, you know, they could convert into customers. So traffic is very, very important. Now, there are several ways you can get traffic. Um, you can also get traffic from, let's say, social media. So that is from uh, Facebook advertising, YouTube advertising. You can also get traffic from blogging. So of course, for your shop to work, you do need to have traffic coming from either of these sources. So it could be free traffic whereby you are creating free uh, content or you could be paying for the traffic so that people come to your website. Now, all this traffic does not really matter if uh, your website is not well designed and uh, things don't look attractive. So this now takes me on to the next point which is photography. Now when you take a look at websites like Nike, you can see here that uh, everything looks very, very sharp. The focus is actually on the uh, product. Now let's take another product here or another website and this is um, Beats uh, that sells headphones. Now again you can see here emphasis is made on the actual product so we can actually see you know what the product is that's being sold. There's no distractions on it so I think this is a very good way of presenting your shop. So design is very important, photography is very very important. Okay so we are in the studio now. Let me show you how to set up your own WordPress online shop. So the first thing you want to do, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is to have a WordPress install. So all these hosting companies that I mentioned, and again, I'll mention in the game, it's um, InMotion Hosting, SiteGround, and WP Engine. Now these three, as you register for your hosting, they will uh, have an automatic way of setting up your WordPress website. So this is really cool. You don't have to worry about uh, the technicalities of setting up, setting up your WordPress website. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up my WordPress website. So I'm gonna show you now how to add all the elements that we need. Now, if you recall, I also spoke about a page builder. Now a page builder is also very important because it allows us to build our website, make it look really, really nice. So the one I use is Divi. 
And if, by the way, if I'm going through this information and it seems a bit difficult for you or you can't follow it, well, no need to worry because if you decide to buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my course that teaches you step-by-step -step how to use Divi and how to build professional looking websites. Okay, so over here on my website, this is what, uh, this is what it looks like in the back end of the website. So the first thing you wanna do is to uh, download the plugin. So the plugin is called WooCommerce, okay? It's free. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new. Next, I'm gonna search for my plugin. Okay, so here we go, here it is, WooCommerce. I'm gonna click here on install now. So this now is going to be installed to uh, my WordPress website. And then once it's installed, I can then go ahead and make some major settings. All right, so I'm gonna click on activate. Great, so now everything is all activated. The next stage is to go to the settings because this is where you need to make sure that your store is set up. So over here you can see, I've already gone ahead and added my address my city and so forth and so on. So this could be your actual you know, details for your shop or for your business. So I'm gonna click here on save changes. Next, I'm gonna come over here to products. Now this is where you want to assign the main shop for your website. I won't really worry about that because I'm gonna show you a really cool way of doing this, okay? So if you want to, you can, you can even go in and uh, delete that, okay? Now over here, placeholder image. Normally I don't do anything on, on, these, uh, on these things here, to be honest, I just leave them as a default. Now over here on shipping, if you're selling uh, products where you want to ship them to a specific country or within your own country, this is where you come in and set up all your shipping details. And again, this is more advanced. Normally I don't use this as well because most of my products are all online. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna come over here to payments. Now this payment option here is very, very important because you wanna make sure that when people come to your website, they're able to pay for the products that you are selling. And if you make that process easy, it's just gonna make uh, everyone happy. So over here, we have several options. So the main two ones that I use are PayPal and Stripe. Now, the reason why I use PayPal is because, of course, PayPal is very popular and Stripe allows those people that don't have a PayPal account to use their debit or credit card. So this, you know, the system is very, very straightforward. Now, both these services are free to sign up for. And again, I will leave all these details in the show notes below. All right, so we have PayPal here. All you have to do is to click on PayPal and add your PayPal email address. You can also add a description here, but that doesn't really, I mean, doesn't really matter. And then over here, you want to enable PayPal standard. Now, once you've done that, go ahead now. And uh, in fact, before you do that, you want to uh, enable your API cred uh, credentials. Now, over here is a link which shows you how to set it all up. It's quite straightforward. Once you set up your PayPal account, you can go in there, add your API keys on here. Now, once you've done that, you click on save. Now, accounts and privacy, there isn't much here uh, to worry about. Normally, I just leave the default stuff, but if you want to show your privacy page, you can uh, create the page first, and then you can come over here and select the privacy page. Okay, so once that's done, again, you can come over here and click on save changes. And then on emails here, this is where you want to be notified when action is happening on your shop. So let's say people are coming to your website, they've just placed an order. If you want those notifications, this is where you come and add your email. So as you can see here, there's new order, that's the first one. If I click here on manage, it gives me now more information. So enable email notification. So this is where you get to get notified once someone sends you or someone buys a product on your website. So there are several options here that you can um, choose to get notified for. So if someone cancels an order or failed order. So normally what I do is I just leave the new order. Uh, that's the main one and the canceled order. So I get all these emails on my phone. So this gives me up to date on what's happening on my website. All right, so over here on the advanced tab. Now over here, again, this is where you, where you wanna set up your pages, your cart page, your checkout page, and your account page. Uh, and again, here there's also terms and conditions. Now these three pages are created by default for you. So you don't need to worry about creating those pages. Now that we've gone through the settings of, um, of uh, WooCommerce, let's go in and let's design our page. Now, before we get started, I'd also like to say that I also mentioned that having very good photos is very, very, very important because you wanna make a great impression when people come to your website. So I've gone ahead here and uh, gone to this website called pexels.com. Now this uh, website here has free uh, images that you can use on your websites, both um, 
commercial and personal. So this is where I got my uh, images to just demonstrate how you build your website. But in your case, of course, you want to take your own images, but uh, invest in a good camera or even hire a good camera, take pictures of your products, and then those that's what you want to do to add your images to, to your shop. All right. So uh, I've gone ahead and downloaded all these images. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come to my shop here and then I'm going to go to media. OK, click on library. So this is where we want to up upload all our images. So next I'm going to click here on add new, select files. Now all my files are in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to click here on downloads and then I'm just going to select all the images that I need to add. I'm going to click here on open. So all my images now are being added onto my media library for easy access. Okay, so now that all my images are set, that's looking great. The next stage now is to create our landing page. Now this is going to be similar to our shop front. Okay, so this is where people see as soon as they get to our website. Great, so I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. Now we're gonna call this page my shop. But of course you can call this page whatever you want. Now, remember, I said uh, I use Divi as my page builder. And again, I've gone ahead and downloaded Divi. I've also installed it on my computer, so it's ready to go. Now, if you want to uh, download Divi or you want to uh, purchase Divi, I will also include a link uh, in the show notes below. And as I mentioned, I will also um, give you access to my courses if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. Okay, so uh, I've just typed in my shop. So that's the name of my page. The next stage now is just to click this blue button which says use Divi Builder. Click, go ahead, click on that. Now, once you click it, it's going to open up uh, these three options, okay? Now, it may look scary in the beginning, but don't worry about it. Uh, over here is where you want to build from scratch. You can also choose a pre-made layout. Now, the beauty of using Divi is they've already created some layouts for you, so you can just go in and load those layouts and start using them, you know, whenever you want. Okay, so for this, I'm going to build from scratch. So I'm going to come over here, click on Start Building. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do here is to start with the heading area and we're also going to add a title to our shop. So I'm going to click here on a single column and in that column, we're going to add some text. Okay, so I'm just searching here for my text module. I'm going to select it. Now, once my text module here is selected, I'm just going to say, um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to use some dummy text because um, I don't want to you know, spend a lot of time typing because I know your time is important you know, to you, so I don't want to spend too much time here typing. So I'm just going to be copying this text here and assume that this is the text that I'm going to be uh, using for this website. Okay, so I've added my text here. The next thing I'm going to do is just to highlight it and make this a heading. So I'm going to say heading one, come over here to design, heading text. Now we're on heading one. Now let's change the title here. I'm going to go to Poppins. And then I'm just gonna make this font bold. Now this is the beauty of using uh, Divi because I can highly customize everything here on my website. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is to um, add a different size here, increase my size. So as you can see here, I've just added my size to 40 pixels. And also you can uh, specify the sizes for mobile devices. So if you want your website to look great on mobile devices, this is where you come, add your, um, add your uh, sizes here for mobile devices. So let me just show you what that looks like. So if I click here on tablet, it shows you a preview of what that looks like on the tablet view and on the smartphone. Okay, so now that I've added my uh, heading, the next stage now is to um, make this all caps. I prefer to have it all caps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, next I'm gonna add some description text for this. So I'm gonna click here on uh, this plus button to add another section, to add another text module. Okay, so I'm gonna search for my text module here. And then I'm just going to insert it right below this one here. Okay. And, and again, I'm going to add a description for our shop. It's going to copy some text here. Come back over here and just override what we have in here. Just like that. Okay. So everything's looking great now. I'm going to come in here. And the only thing I'm going to do is to make sure that this text is centered. So I'm going to center it. And also, uh, this heading text here needs to be centered as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here, go back in here, center it. Okay, so that's looking great. Let's go ahead and save. Now, finally, we need a call to action button. Okay, so let's add our button in there. So I'm just going to search for button, click on insert button module. And then I just want it below this um, description text. 
Right, so I'm just gonna say here, start shopping, okay? And uh, definitely you want to add your link here to where this, pay, uh, this link goes to. So this could go to your main shop. Okay, so on design here, I'm just gonna make sure that it's all centered. So we are going to come back in and make some adjustments to the colors here because I'm not sure what image I'm gonna use in the background. All right, so I'm just gonna save here because I have all the elements that I need on my website. Now I'm gonna add a background image. So I'm gonna click here, click on background, click on the third tab, and then I'm gonna click this plus button. So I've already uploaded my image here, so I'm gonna select it, upload an image. So now you can see my image has been added. But uh, as you can see, my because my text here is really dark, I also have a dark background, so things are quite difficult to read. Now, there's a very easy fix for that. All I have to do is to uh, change the color of my uh, image in the background. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this color tab, click this plus button and add a color, okay? So let's make this color black. Right, so once we've done that, come back over here to this image and what you wanna do is to click here on blend mode and set it to multiply. So at first it may seem like, oh, what have we done now? I mean, you can't see anything now. But anyway, you wanna click back over here now on this little um, tab, and then you want to add your transparency just by dragging this. So as you can see here, I'm letting more uh, of the color to show. So I think this will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then finally, all I have to do now is to go back in here and change my colors to white. So I'm gonna click here on text, on text color, oops, I am selecting the wrong item. So it's gotta be my heading, okay? So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool, go to my heading, change my color, just like that. Save that. Next, I'm gonna come to the uh, description text. Same thing, click here on design, text, change my text color. And then finally, it's the button. So I'm gonna click here on my button settings, design, then I'm gonna click here on button, use custom styles for button, and this is where we can add our colors. So right now I'm just gonna add this uh, yellowy color, and that's looking great. Okay, so I'm gonna save this, and then finally, you just wanna make sure that everything is in place here, and everything is uh, spaced out correctly. So I'm just gonna drag and just push this content. Okay, so we've uh, created this main part of our website. Why don't you go ahead and save, and then the next stage now is to go in and add all our products. So we're just gonna add uh, four uh, shoes, pairs of shoes, because we're just gonna assume that those are the shoes that we're selling on our website. All right, so I've saved this. So what I'm gonna do to make things easier for me is to just um, make sure the page is saved, and then I am going to open the uh, website again, but on a new tab. Okay, it just saves me going back and forth. So to add your products is very straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here to products, click on add new. Okay, so you give your product name. So I'm just gonna call this uh, shoe. I'm not very creative with the names. I'm just gonna call it uh, shoe one. Come over here, copy my description over here. And then I'm gonna paste it in my description area right here, okay? And then over here, we are going to add our price. So let's call, let's call this 999, okay? Sale price, uh, 799. So this is where you can also add your sale price. I'm gonna add variations of the prices so you can see you know, how easy it is to uh, play around with, this, with these products. Okay, so I've added my pricing. The next stage now is to come over here to set product image. So I'm gonna click here. And as you can see here, all my images that I uploaded earlier on are already in my library. So I'm just gonna select it and set product image, okay? Now over here, you can also set some categories. So we can say maybe men's, add new category, we can say women, we can say kids, so this is where you can just add your category. So as you're building your shop and adding all your products to your shop, you, you can just be adding them in there. Okay, great. Now the also the other thing that you may want to do as well here is to add some tags because you can also have related products when people go to the product page. Right, so now that I've entered that, I'm just gonna come over here and add another description. So it's always good to add a very good description here. So I'm gonna add a short product description, paste it like that. So now that I have my pricing, I have my image, 
I have my uh, shoe name. That's meant to say shoe. <laughs> okay. Right, so I've got that. Now over here, this is where you can add your inventory. You can say in stock and how many, you know, are left in stock and stuff like that. And then it automatically calculates how much is left based on how many um, uh, are paid for or how many people have bought. Okay, now over here, you can add your shipping details, the weight. Now remember, I also mentioned that if you wanted to uh, charge for shipping, this is where you would add all your weight. And linked products, you can also do some upsells and cross-sells here. That's also a very good option, but we're not going to go complicated right now. We're just going to create a basic page. All right, so I've added my image. I've added my product and all of that. I'm going to click here on publish. All right. Next, I'm going to add another product. So I'm going to click here on add new. So we're going to call this shoe2. Okay, uh, I'm going to paste my description here. I'm just going to paste the same description like that. Now, this one here is 129. Okay, now for this one, there's no sale price. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I'm just going to have some variations of how I'm going to do this. So this one here, let's say it's a women's shoe. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to come over here to product image. And, oh, I don't have women's shoes here. But anyway, let's say this is a, is a women's shoe. Okay, I'm going to set the product. There we go. And then I'm going to click on publish. Okay, great. Now let's add a third one. So I'm going to add new. Okay. Paste my uh, description. In fact, let me come over here. Copy my text. Now, in your case, you want to be adding the proper description for your products. Okay. I want to paste it here as well. Uh, the price here, let's say $89.99. Okay. Choose my product image. Choose that. Set my product. I'm going to say uh, maybe category men's. Right, so now that I have that, oh, in fact, there's something else I need to mention. So if you have more products or more 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 views of the same product, you can always add it here to the product uh, product gallery. <laughs> okay, right. So now that I have all this all set, I'm gonna click here on publish. So now we've added three products onto our shop. So let's say you want to view your products. All you have to do is to click on all products, and you can see here they're now added. And I've also had some T-shirts that I've added earlier on. Great. So now that we have all this all set. The next stage now is to add our products to our front page. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, click on regular, single column. And then I'm just going to scroll down here and choose this shop. Okay, right. So as you can see, at the moment I select shop, all my products have been, um, have been uh, added now to the front of my website. And they look very, very clean, very, very nice. So over here now is where you want to add your product. So I could choose maybe to add eight or however, you know, um, many you want. So again, here you can add your columns. If you want to add four columns, you can add four columns. If you want to, uh, you know, differentiate this, maybe add six. You know, it's all up to you because this is how you can start playing around with the layout. So you can see here, as soon as I've added six, now we have all this in a straight line. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, go back here to... Uh, Okay, I think I'm happy with three columns. Okay, great. So uh, I'm pretty cool with this layout. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is to just come over here to elements, uh, show pagination. So let's say I have more products here. I can always go in and make sure that uh, people can click on the next button. But so far, I, I don't have quite a lot of product. Okay, great. Now over here on content, you can also choose the content type. Now, this is really cool because uh, you can assign this to recent products, featured products, sale products. So look, if I go to sale products, it's only going to show me those four because those are the ones on sale. Okay. But if I say recent, this will just show me all the recent products that I've added onto my shop. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now, let me add one more thing. So I'm just going to add a title to this main page. And to do that, we want to click here on this plus button, click single column. And in that column, we're going to add a text module. I'm going to select that. And then I'm just going to call this latest product. Okay, great. So that's my latest product. I'm going to click here on design. Text. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. And then I am also going to change the color here. In fact, let me stick with gray. Okay, so that's my, um, that's my color. I'm going to save that. And then I'm just going to drag this to the top. 
And now this page builder is also a drag and drop, so you can actually drag uh, your content uh, wherever you want it to be. Okay, now let's take note here of this page that we've just built. So we've called this page our shop. Okay, so I'm gonna exit the visual builder and you can see here it says my shop. Okay, it's very important that we uh, make note of this page. So as you can see here, it looks pretty clean. Our products looks really nice. Now this is our main hero area. You can also link this to another page which has maybe categories of the different products on your shop. So let's explore this and take a look and see what it, what it looks like. So if I click here on shoe three, you can see here, it has my description, it has an add to cart, it also has a description here and a related product. Okay, so that's how you quickly go in and create a page. Now if I click here on add to cart, now this is added to the cart, we can also view the cart here. And that's now it's showing me what's in the cart. So I can now proceed to checkout and then this will go to either PayPal or Stripe, depending on what you've set up. Now you can also add coupon codes. Now coupon codes are really cool because that's also how you can get people to come to uh, sign up or buy products from your website because people love, of course, discounts. Okay, now let's say the visitor made a mistake and they want to get rid of that product. They can just click this X. And now, the, now the cart is empty. Okay, so that's pretty much how you set up a website which sells online products. So this is using WordPress, Divi, and also it's based on a very good hosting. Now, all this information that you need in order for you to set up your own website like this will be included in the show notes below. So you can go ahead and set it up step by step. Now, I'm also going to have an extensive course which will teach you how to set up your course, uh, I mean, your online website from start to finish because right now I've pretty much just covered the main areas. But if you want a step-by-step -step process, if you buy Divi, you also have access to my online e-commerce uh, course. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.